Hey guys, welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is the collective pick card for what are the messages from Santa Muerte, La Santísima Muerte, La Niña Blanca. We have three piles today. Pile one is Shara White. It's really nice, black and purple. Pile two is the Pitalite, very shiny purple. And then pile three is Amethyst, a deeper, darker purple. So these are the three piles. Take a deep breath. Choose from the heart. Choose the pile you are drawn to the most. We're going to get started with pile number one. Hey, pile one, if you chose this pile with the purple shower white crystal, this is your reading. These are general messages. Take what resonates. You have the Emperor, the Lovers, and the Ace of Swords. I feel like you have seen the truth. You have unlocked some inner strength and healing. Archangel Michael is here for you, protecting our space from someone who was very negative and toxic. I feel like you could have dealt with a difficult, abusive relationship, whether that was physical, verbal, or just some type of negative energy here, it is getting blocked. It is no more, no more controlling you and keeping you from your true divine essence i feel like you have the key to your heart you are open to love you have healed something that was very negative in your past you have moved beyond it you are no longer stuck in that energy with the ace of swords you see the truth of who you are you have confidence archangel michael is here if you have cut cords with something negative or toxic it is successful that is the message that santa muerte wants to tell you she protected you from a harmful connection by ending it because this person was a liar or was not truthful with hope and reflection i feel like this person and i see x so this is definitely an x who was very hurtful towards you and is wanting to come back around but they are blocked and santa muerte is protecting you from this negative energy 111 trust your intuition this person cannot come into your space they cannot harm you they cannot hurt you they cannot lie they cannot put you in third party situations anymore and this person is kind of just sitting here and they can't move they're stuck and they're blocked is what i'm getting if you did like a spell bottle a witch's bottle or some type of protection i feel like that is definitely helping you if that doesn't apply for you don't take the message that's for somebody out there but i'm also getting this person feels stuck anything that they said was a lie about you that's coming to an end for some of you guys this person was gossiping like a smear campaign is what i'm hearing but with the ace of swords truth is coming out this person can't affect you gemini aries taurus libra aquarius energy coming through very strong gemini with the um I don't know why I said that. There's only the lovers here. I'm a Gemini, but I'm getting strong Gemini. So whoever was trying to hurt you or cause disruption in your life, I feel like she is protecting you. The Ace of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. You have strength. You have your truth, your light, your essence is being restored. You are protected. You have cut ties or cords with something negative. You have confidence in yourself. And with the Nine of Pentacles, she is blessing you with abundance of money, spiritual abundance, as well as material wealth. And that is the message because you have healed she wants you to know you are healed. There's no need to dwell in the past or feel stuck. There's no need to do any trauma, like reassessing or going back in time, like get out of the past. It's done. It's over with. You have moved on. You are successful. You were in this energy and you need to see that you have truth and clarity. You are connected to the divine, to the most high with Lenia Blanca's energy as well as having money. Like this is your energy. All of the lying, sneaky, cheating energy, this is cut. It is out of your way. You cannot come near pal one is what i'm hearing with the ten of swords and the seven of swords the ending of lying and cheating and sneaking and just untruthful this person's a liar gossip like very bad energy all of that is gone she's here to protect you this person's gonna see you be successful they can't do anything about it this person is bound away from you like they are literally binded away they can't hurt you because she will not allow it so that is what I have for you, Pal One. Let me know if that resonates. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below if this helps. And thank you so much for watching. We're going to get into Pal Number Two. Hey, Pal Two. If you chose this beautiful, shiny of a pitalite crystal, I feel like you have a decision to make with the Two of Wands left or right. Santa Muerte wants you to know that a path is being made clear. You are protected. The things you want to manifest are actually coming into fruition. With the Empress card, she's definitely here. She's protecting your beauty, your essence. There's a lot of red here. So root chakra energy, but I'm also getting messages and downloads are coming to you so naturally because you're naturally intuitive and gifted. Whatever you want to decide with a decision, a path is being made clear. You're at a crossroads and she wants to know that she will help you make the right choice that is best for you. If you're asking for guidance, it will be given to you and you will have stability on something that you are trying to achieve. Whatever you are manifesting, focusing on, or conjuring up, the answer is yes. Remember to stay hydrated. I'm also getting any type of spiritual baths or showers that you guys might be taking for those of you who don't like baths you will be healed you will be cleansed you will be protected whatever choice you make will be for your highest good it will be it will be restored it will bring balance is what i'm hearing it will be the best outcome for you 
There is an ending of some sort with the world card. It's like you're choosing something, but as you choose one thing, another thing closes, right? So as soon as you close out a cycle with something that doesn't make you happy, you open a door to a new opportunity. And with that new opportunity is the Ace of Pentacles. Some of you guys are being guided to start a spiritual business. She's helping you. And she wants you to know that you are this Empress Libra Taurus energy. You are in this energy to manifest what you want. People come to you for guidance. They see you for your worth. You are respected in a spiritual community is what I'm getting, whether that's an online platform, on social media, or a literal like brick and mortar spiritual business. But she is guiding you with your finances. She's helping you make a decision to choose what you feel is best for you. And I feel that what is best for you to have a spiritual business, if this is near and dear to your heart, the answer is yes. You're being blessed with abundance here. The messages come to you naturally. You will be able to communicate to the world is what I'm getting. And the world loves you because you are able to bring healing with the temperance card to those who reach out to you. You help them clear a path. But I'm also getting your path is being cleared to your financial success. So that's what I have for you, pile two. Let me know if that resonates. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below. And thank you so much for watching. We're going to get into pile number three. Hey, pile three. If you chose this pile with the amethyst, this is your reading. You have the king of cups, the four of pentacles reversed, the ten of wands, the six of wands, the seven of the chariot, and then the queen of wands. There's some more cards that I have here that we will get to in just a second. But what I'm seeing here is that you are moving forward with the energy of love. You have officially healed. You have someone here who is also spiritual. You have a past life connection. There's a soul tie here with someone who is very near and dear to your heart. And this person is in your life or they will be coming to you. If you've been wanting love and you are single, love is here. If you're in a connection, yes, this is your person. If there is some type of difficulty in this connection, then you're with the wrong person if you're heavily burdened. Because for a lot of you, I see you single and your ancestors are guiding or bringing love into your life because you have healed, you're a healer, and they're bringing you someone that is going to be your divine counterpart. This person is also a healer. For the Four of Pentacles, if someone was trying to control you or your money situation because it is upside down and getting those burdens are being lifted with the chariot, you have positive movement forward. Cancer energy, I feel like this is cancer season. We're moving into Leo, actually, but it's basically saying like, Whatever you love is going to come towards you because you desire those blessings and those blessings are being manifested and they are here. You have positive movement forward on achieving something that is very successful for you is what I'm hearing. The Ten of Wands and the Queen of Wands. I feel like whatever you feel passionate about, if you lit a white candle, you ask for help and you maybe were a little bit doubtful because you've been trying to manifest this for some time. I feel like if you're manifesting love, this love is here. You are shocked with the Queen of Wands. You can't believe that is actually already time because you've been so patient and this person is yours. With the Page of Cups, this person feels lonely and wants the energy of love. So they could be in hermit mode right now by themselves, Cancer, excuse me, Virgo energy. They're holding back because they were trying to figure something out with their finances or who they are. This person is also healing. They're going through some deep shadow work. A hermit is someone who's very introverted, Virgo energy, but with the Page of Cups, they feel like nobody loves them. Is because they need to love themselves. So this person is healing and going through transition. But as a result of that, because you send this person loving energy from a distance, they are going to heal and they are going to come towards you with the Nine of Cups here. I see lots of happiness and stability. The person that you want is single with no strings attached and so are you. Two, two, two. Balance is being restored. True love is on their way. And with the Fool card, I feel like this person, after going through a healing phase of shadow work, they are going through a transformation with this butterfly here. And I feel like Santa Muerte is helping you to bring love into your life. With the amethyst, I'm seeing red, root chakra, love, sacral chakra, sexual energy, relationships. It's like you're manifesting the energy of love and the answer is yes. So if you're wanting love, it's coming. If you are wondering if you healed from a difficult situation, you have, as a result of that, you have a new chapter in your life. Very exciting, good energy. It's on its way with the nine of cups. Um, I'm hearing within three to six weeks for some reason for some of you that you have a connection or someone will be confessing to you how they feel but this is a new chapter and it's beautiful abundance of love somebody is realizing you're the one because you have loved yourself and as a result of that they are doing the same this person mirrors you because this heart it's like you have their heart they have yours so you're heavily protected and that is what I have for you. Pile 3, I'm also getting you my two little spiders, and that's a sign that Santa Muerte is with you, as well as a butterfly, to help you remember that life is full of changes and transformations, but this chapter is exciting because this one is meant to last. 333 angel number. And I send you many blessings. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Comment below if you found this helpful. And let me know if you want to see a different type of favorite card. And I send you many blessings. Thank you for watching and supporting my channel. Bye, guys.